What is good, my ninjas? It is your boy Yinko, and I am back with another Art Riders video. And whew, man, it has been way too long. It feels good being back on the mic talking with y'all. So let's get into this. So, this is going to be my character update. As you can see, my character is looking super sexy, too sexy for a shirt, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, it's a character update, so we're going to get into this. And a possible build that I am doing, it's a bleed bubble build. Now, wait, wait. There's more. This bubble build makes it to wear, as you can see down at the bottom, but player can't die while inside the slow trap. Now, I'm pretty sure you're like, well, Yinko, expeditions are based off of time. How would this even work? Now, my friend, now, you don't just pop the bubble, just all willy-nilly. You pop the bubble when you need to pop the bubble. And this is worked out several times while I played with a couple of my homeboys. So, unfortunately, unfortunately, and I say a possible new build just because of the simple fact that I do not have the third gear piece for the Trespassers set. For some reason, it's just eluded me. I don't know why. Game just does not want me to make this build. I've been trying, I've been trying, I've been trying, and I cannot get up done like I've looked up, I've researched, I've seen like what can possibly be something that I could use uh, to maybe make it to where I can do it. Uh, like I tried the whole, you know, uh, what is it? Doing the hunts, not turn, you know, turning the hunts and then like instead of, you know, just collecting the gear that I get, you know, just completely exit out the game, boom, go right back into it. Unfortunately, uh, the helmet was supposed to be able to drop and it never dropped on me. So, you know, I just kind of just was like, I was like, F it. We, I'll eventually get that gear piece. But for the time being, I'm just going to work on making this bleed build. And so we're going to go into the weapons real quick. So right now I'm using the Bulwark. I know uh, it's that shield shotgun. That's the best shotgun to use in the game right now, but unfortunately, that hasn't dropped for me. So, I'm using the Bulwark, which is a good second. Uh, I'm using Ultimate Bleed with Bone Shrapnel, because of course, Bone Shrapnel is just absolutely fantastic when it comes to shotguns. Uh, and it deals bleed damage uh, on enemies within the 5 minute radius. And then I'm using the Emperor's Will, which is a really, really good rifle to use uh, well it's let me not say it, it's a favorite of mine to use because it has weapon life leech which comes in super duper clutch when the twisted rounds you know run out and uh i'm just running low on life so that comes in super handy especially with killing spree and death chains death chains is possibly one of the best auto rifle mods that you could put on there especially early game early game if you get this to drop put this on if you get this to drop on your auto rifle and it has weapon life leech fantastic death chains keeps on going for three seconds and every hit with the death chain gives you your health back so you can be reloading running away from the enemy and still getting your life back so i think it's just a fantastic thing uh, to have on your auto rifle just for the survivability uh, and then I'm just running a random pistol nothing special uh, now as far as with the gear well as you can see my firepower is 88.1k nothing nothing spectacular at all nothing spectacular like it's like it's it's really it's really low-key disappointing like where how high I don't want to say how high of a level I am 
uh, just with where I'm at and my I haven't hit that 100k uh, bo uh, you know 100k damage yet uh, it just kind of just sucks but I'm running the ivory and bone this was I don't want to say this was the first legendary that dropped for me uh, but definitely dropped with something that I needed which was bonus firepower as well as close range damage which of course since I'm running a shotgun as my primary definitely definitely comes in handy but unfortunately because shit is so expensive and I've just been having a lot of trouble uh, with my connection and stuff like that and just the game crashing constantly uh, either I don't get to finish it because it crashes or I'm rubber banding all over the place so it's almost impossible I have to get carried uh, just because of my internet connection here in another country yay uh, but it's 43 and then I have the trespassers armor which I already showed you both bonus firepower close range damage cooldown reduction which is definitely what I'm what I'm looking for all my armor if I can get this to drop with the first two and cooldown reduction done done I'll never get rid of it uh, same with the leg armor bonus firepower close range damage cooldown reduction the only thing I don't like is that it runs with time rift uh, with the time rift mod and I really don't like that like because this one came with the damage mitigation uh, with the slow trap and this one came with a time rift I don't know if it's trying to like purposely make me use time rift but I refuse to use time rift and just because it was one or the other uh, I just picked the lower tier one and instead of losing time rift just in case I do make a time rift build so I just ran with that with vampiric mag and then I'm running the Enochian Outriders Bracers which gives me also the bonus firepower the close range damage and the cooldown reduction that dropped at 46 with personal space and fresh mag now I did have I was running the gauntlets of the cannonball which gave me the bonus firepower and the cooldown reduction but no close range damage but it gave me Captain Hunter, which is really good against elites. Which I really, re excuse me, I'm really, really hoping that I can possibly get some gloves uh, that can drop with personal space and the three that I currently have on this, and I can just dismantle this and put Captain Hunter on there because Captain Hunter is just really good to have, uh, especially when you're running uh, the, ex the expeditions. Ritualist footwear, uh, unfortunately it came with two out of the three that I was looking for, but I was like, you know what, bump it, we just gonna run with that. Uh, I'm running Bloody Boost, and it dropped with Emergency Stance, so I wasn't too upset about that. Uh, I was running something that had like close range damage, close range damage, bonus firepower, but it didn't give me the cooldown reduction that I wanted, so I was just like, you know what, F it, we just gonna run this, cause both boots had emergency stance on there with bloody boots so I didn't, I didn't care um but as far as builds go this is currently what I'm working on uh so of course with vampiric mag where is it at vampiric mag killing shots on enemies afflicted with bleed replenishes 50% of ammo in your magazine which if you're running twisted rounds helps a lot uh and of course since you're running the ultimate bleed uh bullets with bone shrapnel, you know, that'll just afflict bleed, bleed on them, and that'll help uh, with trying to get Vampiric Mag to proc. Now, I am using Blood, I'm using Bloodlust with King Slayer, which I think are really good. Uh, critical hits on Elite increases your firepower by 5,000 for six seconds, and then you have Bloodlust killing shots increase your firepower by 2,700, but you already know that because I'm pretty sure you've watched a ton of build for the trickster devastator power mancer or the best technomancer and this is just not my opinion this is just what's facts like i've seen them deal out just huge amount of numbers huge almost doubling what i'm putting out uh then i'm running with fresh mag reloading increases your firepower by seven thousand the personal space Increases my close range damage weapon. Weapon damage by 15%. It 
and then you already know what I'm using on this with bloody boost range raising my damage against enemies with bleed by 15% it's a really good build uh, for the most part uh, you know the bleed build really really good really good really good build uh, in y'all in my last video uh, pretty sure y'all saw that I was running with the ash and freeze build which it definitely helped in the early stages and definitely like in the you know uh, the world tier 15 when I was running the story and stuff but unfortunately you know since you're running um, since you're running with uh, a time limit on this one you know you kind of need to definitely be able to put out the numbers and unfortunately that just wasn't doing that wasn't hitting the spot if I can get the third armor set to buy, uh, to drop for me it'll definitely bring me it'll bring me up to, to another tier as far as just with my cooldown reduction my bonus firepower my close range now as far as with skills oh, my right bumper is not working sweet uh, twisted rounds Everybody's using that who's running a, tr a trickster or even a technomancer or even a pyromancer uh, well, Actually all four of them if you're running anything with the rounds that they have I mean you're just you're, you're gonna succeed for, for the most part. Uh, I'm running slow trap with hunt the prey uh, the reason I'm you I'm looking for bonus firepower with close range and cooldown reduction is just to get these two down as low as possible I want this to at least be about 20 seconds maybe if I can 17 seconds if I can get lower and definitely try to get this about 15 14 seconds if possible it's almost at 20 seconds and uh, unfortunately you know just in those 20 seconds you know a lot can happen you know it, especially when you get higher in the tiers so I definitely want to get that a lot lower if this gets any lower like I'll just be using I'll be using the crap out of this but unfortunately my right bumper doesn't work uh, that well so unfortunately that is not the case but a lot of people are using Venator's Knife or Time Rift uh, haven't seen too many with Borrow Time I've seen some with Cyclone Slice uh, not too many with Temporal Blade and not too many with Slow Trap and I thought that if you're running a team setting especially if you get to the very lowest uh let me not say the lowest but you get to the end game expedition this will definitely come in handy because if the player can't die while inside the slow trap if that goes for everybody that'll be just clutch even if it's just for you it'll come in super clutch but definitely will come in clutch for you and your teammates and i think this is definitely something that uh any trickster should have if they're running uh, if they're running this armor set should be using uh, the slow trap and of course I have with the slow trap allies within the spear receive 40% less damage it's just super clutch uh, I might replace life drain with something else that deals with the bubble like maybe uh, that puts vulnerability on enemies that come within the bubble I haven't decided if I want to do that just yet but uh, I feel that I'm dealing out enough damage, so maybe. Uh, but as you can see, average item level is 45. But everything is kind of lackluster. 99% on close range damage, on a little bit over 100% with weapon damage, uh, anomaly power, 451%. But with, at least with the skill damage uh, but my anomaly power is you know it's just it's just weak sauce but I'm not running an anomaly build so I don't care uh, but yeah and my armor my physical damage reduction is at not even halfway so definitely still have a lot to work on uh, if you guys have any have any suggestions put it down in the comment section below uh, I can just anything that you have can tell me to go F myself. I don't care. Just put it down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the video. Like and subscribe if you're feeling your boy's content and let your boy know what you think about the new intro. Of course, I've changed intros at least about 15 damn times, but 
Like, I think this is the one I'm sticking with. I really like everything. I've redone everything. The banner, uh, my character's avatar, just everything. And just, uh, like, I just really, I'm really feeling this intro. So just let me know what you think.